Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, we still have that severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The good news is there are no warnings right now. The hail cores look like uh, the stones are below the one inch diameter size, which would qualify as severe. So that's the good thing. But these are still pretty nasty storms right now. This is a pretty good storm here near Pine Village moving northward right for Oxford and eventually Fowler. This definitely looks like a hailer. There may be a warning issued on that one soon, but that's moving northward just west of Benton County and actually this storm here did produce a wind gust of 44 miles an hour at Pine Village and 52 miles an hour at Covington. These storms are weakening somewhat, but given the linear nature of them, they could produce some winds 45 50 miles an hour as they lift north and north uh, eastward with time and these could produce some pretty gusty winds, perhaps a little very tiny hail out of these down towards Putnam County and Montgomery County and these are working north towards Clinton and Boone counties uh, at the present time. Now the good news is once we get past around 8 o'clock tonight, I think the any severe threat will tend to wind down somewhat, but we still could have a few showers and thunder showers into the overnight hours. On future cast again, this is 10 o'clock. By that point, severe weather threat waning, a few showers and thunder showers around, a couple even continuing into the overnight, and there could be some areas of fog very late tonight. And then tomorrow, even though future cast looks dry, there will be a few very widely scattered showers and thunder showers around, and it'll be cooler with highs in the mid to upper 60s after we cool off pretty rapidly this evening into the 50s and we'll have overnight lows. Uh, in the 50s. And speaking of that, overnight low 55 Rochester, 54 Lafayette, and 53 Crawfordsville. And I tell you, when those storms come through, you're going to feel that refrigerator uh, cool air rushing in because it'll drop pretty fast. And then tomorrow, a little more sun in the north. So upper 60s Rochester, Winnemac, and Morocco, mid 60s Kokomo, Lafayette, Crawfordsville, and about 65 at Petersburg. And Sunday looks good, partly cloudy. Highs generally about 65 to 70 degrees. Not bad at all. 67 Winnemac, Logansport, and Lafayette, and 68 down at Crawfordsville. Now, 7 day forecast. The good news is once we get past 8, severe weather threat winding down this evening. Still a few little showers and thunder showers tomorrow. 66. Sunday looks good. Monday looks good. 68. Warms up to 78 by Wednesday. We'll watch a severe weather threat Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, much cooler. Highs 55 to 60 overnight lows 30 to 35 degrees. So some frost and freezing likely, but right now it doesn't look like a hard, really damaging freeze at the present time. And as I'm looking right now, uh, it looks like we don't have any additional warnings issue, but some of these storms are pretty vigorous, especially over in northern Warren County right now and in parts of Montgomery County. We can still get some wind gusts, you know, easily 45, 50 miles an hour out of these. And we'll watch it through the evening. If, if they start to turn severe again, we'll put warnings out and we'll let you know. Okay, Chad, thank you. Sure. All right. Caleb